so hello student uh, so today i have done the revision but still again i want to revise this chapter so that you will not get confused before your class test so the chapter name is file management data organizer organization uh, so here you have to learn that uh, what is basically file and what is basically folder so always remember uh, whatever you are saving in your computer in a form of word file or powerpoint file then those small storage thing is known as file okay whatever data you are storing that is known as file and folder is little bit bigger than file that means in terms of storage so in folder you can save lots of files also folders also okay next moving on uh, you don't need to learn any kind of steps for your class test also for your um, uh, assessment also uh, so you have to learn this uh, view, quick view this one okay uh, so how can you cho choose multiple file at a time so for that you have to hold on control key or ctrl key okay next is how can you delete any file and folder permanently for that you can press shift plus del okay this is a shortcut key next you have to learn know the fact this one so what they are saying to select a constructual group of file click on the first file and hold down shift key and click on the last file next moving on very important topic of this chapter is searching a file using wildcard characters so what are wildcards wildcards are basically special type of symbols which normally helps you to search any file and folder whose exact name you don't know maybe you don't know or you have forgot so for that time if you want to search any particular file or folder that you have saved you can use the wildcard characters or symbols to search it so how many wildcard characters are there there are two wildcards they are asterisk and question mark asterisk and question mark okay uh, so uh, next the question can come in your mind that why two wildcards are there i can search any file using any one wildcard so for that the answer is uh, there are different uh, ways to search a file suppose you have forgot the full file name but you know the uh, type of the file name means whether it is a document file or any presentation file in that uh, on that uh, particular time which wildcard you can use you can use the asterisk because wildcard character asterisk can be used to replace a string of text in a search term string of text means uh, uh, many uh, uh, big word using uh, many characters okay uh, so you can search any kind of uh, file uh, if you have forgot the file name fully but you have remembered the file type whether it's a dot doc file or dot x uh, txt file or dot ppt file in that uh, on that time you can use this asterisk sign now next uh, suppose uh, you want to search any file name in which you have forgot any particular character or any particular alphabet in that case you can use that question mark in place of that particular character while you will search up that particular file or folder so this is the difference between asterisk and question mark wildcards let's move on the very important thing that is understanding different file format so what is this so in our computer we use the computer for different purpose like we uh, sometimes we write different kind of letters or sometimes we write different kinds of uh, paragraphs so for that we normally use ms word that is known as document now for calculation purpose we normally use excel or spreadsheet for uh, for uh, doing any presentation we normally use ms powerpoint software so each of the software is having their own format so whenever you will save any kind of uh, data or information in different kind of software while you will save after that you will get to see that they are having something dot something in uh, name is written that is basically known as extension now which kind of common types of formats are there 
नंबर वन इज डॉक्यूमेंट सपोज यू आर राइटिंग समथिंग इन एम एस वर्ड और माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड एंड यू आर सेविंग दैट फाइल देन इट विल कम विथ द एक्सटेंशन डॉट डॉक और डॉट डी ओ सी एक्स सपोज यू आर राइटिंग समथिंग इन स्प्रेडशीट्स और एक्सेल फाइल एंड यू आर सेविंग इट देन यू विल गेट टू सी द एक्सटेंशन डॉट एक्सेल एस और डॉट एक्सेल एस एक्स बोथ आर करेक्ट Suppose you are drawing something in MS Paint, or you have downloaded something from the internet, and you are saving it. On that time, you have to use the extension .jpg .png, or many more extensions are there for image files. Suppose you are uh, listening to any music, or you are recording any kind of song or any kind of voice. That time, that will be known as audio file. audio file normally have the extension of .mp3 .mp4 or .wav and many more are there suppose you are drawing a you are writing something in a presentation in a, means in ms powerpoint and you are saving that file then that file may contain the extension with the file name .ppt or .pptx so these are the some common software where you can uh, uh, you can write something and you can save as a file and there you will get to see this kind of extensions so this basic extension you should know so that whenever you will save it you will get to understand that what file is having what type of thing like audio like dot mp3 file will be having only audio type of thing okay next thing the file type is also indicated by its icon you know that ms word is having this uh, w icon powerpoint normally comes with the p icon and excel sheet come with x icon so these are the different kind of icons which help us to understand on which file we are working on so this is the very important part you have to learn for now also whenever you will use the computer it's always going to be very uh, helpful to do your work okay next shorting files steps we don't need but remember what is shorting shorting basically means shorting the desktop item means arranging them in a proper order now this order can be your alphabetical order this can be any numerical order like 1 2 3 4 a b c d as you can see in this picture you can save the you can short by the name also you can short by the size you can short by the item style and you can short by date modification so shorting means desktop items are arranged in a proper order and windows lets you to short your file with name size item type and data modified so what is name selecting the option file alphabetically will be uh, so name is selecting this option orders files alphabetically by file name size arranges the file in descending order of its size if you are going to short by item type then it will groups the file based on their type data modified means organizes file according to the date sorry date modified according to the date this were last modified so these are the some way you can use while you will short a file means you are arranging a file in a proper manner next uh, next nothing so much important because only steps are there again i am telling steps are not important okay recap very important all of you just go through with all the recap that is written that will give you an idea what are the topics are important for this chapter okay next from the exercise all of you please do practice file fill in the blanks state true and false and multiple choice question so that's it for uh, you for your class test for file management so everyone best of luck and do study and give your test bye